Hey folks, thanks for checking in with us here at MyFoxHurricane.com. Boy, things certainly heat up in a hurry in the tropics, but it is late August, so you would expect that. We are heading towards the peak of the season. A lot to keep an eye on right now. i got a couple areas close to home, and then Dorian, which formed about 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon, a little over 1,000 miles east of the Lesser Antilles. Let's talk about all three of these. We'll start close to home. Again, that disturbance over near Texas and Louisiana, I just don't see a whole lot from. Big blow up of showers and storms kind of just off the coast of uh, Texas, Louisiana right now, kind of right near Houston. This is not going to have much time over water, uh, likely going to jump quickly over land. So that being the case, uh, again, I don't see much cause for concern with this, but locally heavy downpours across the western gulf up into parts of the southeast over the next few days certainly possible and then closer to home uh at least closer to florida i should say we do have a disturbance right along our east coast the center of which is uh, probably up near fort lauderdale west palm beach something like that and most of the convection kind of displaced east of that center this is going to move out into the open waters of the atlantic just kind of ride up the east coast of the u.s we'll probably get a tropical depression at some point this weekend after that point, we may certainly get a named storm out of this. The next name on the list, because we had Dorian form today, uh, is going to be Aaron. This will likely stay offshore, but certainly kicking up some surf, maybe some locally heavy downpours along the east coast as well, something that we'll watch closely as we go throughout the upcoming week. Now on to Dorian, which as I said, now a tropical storm. It will move towards the Lesser Antilles over the next few days, and eventually by the middle of next week, be getting close to Puerto Rico, the island of Hispaniola as well. Current forecast from the National Hurricane Center, at least in regards to intensity, does bring that up to a Category 1 hurricane. I'm not completely sold on that just yet, uh, but it is possible. I just think there's going to be a lot of land interaction to deal with, in addition to some pockets of wind shear, not to mention the dry air that is still quite abundant as well. So we'll watch this closely. Again, our friends in the islands uh, going to have to be dealing with us uh, as we get into the next week. Long term, most models don't bring much of anything significant towards the U.S., but there could certainly be a big slug of moisture headed towards Florida towards Labor Day weekend. Again, this is a long ways out, a long time to watch it for sure. There you see it. The models kind of take it west, northwest, and uh, in pretty good agreement right now uh, over the next six, seven days or so. So check back for more updates on that. As always, a lot to find here on MyFoxHurricane.com. You get the latest tracks, the models, all kinds of cool stuff so you can track the storms at home. You can also get latest blogs as well. We try and update those blogs with what we're thinking uh, pretty much every couple of days, uh, if not more frequently when we have an active setup like this. Thanks for checking in. Have a good night.